A Christmas pet deserves a lifetime of care. A pet is a lifetime commitment. Remember that if you're planning on buying a pet as a gift this Christmas, Minister for Agricultural Industry Development and Fisheries and Minister for Rural Communities, Mark Ferner said owning a pet was a major responsibility that lasted long after Christmas Day. All animals deserve to be welcomed into a home that is committed to taking care of them, forever Mr. Ferner said. To stay up to date with latest top stories, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. Think about the costs of caring for a pet, how much free time you and your family have to spend with it, and will it suit your family in the years ahead? If you have the slightest doubt about the ability to do so, then you need to find another present. Queensland Chief Veterinary Officer Drive Allison Crook said pets brought great joy and were often treated as family members. It's just as important that we take extra care of the pets we already own, Dr. Crook said. We may love the summer heat and the festive treats, but our pets do not. Whether it is eating chocolate or nuts, or spending a short time inside a car, these actions can cause great harm to our furry friends. Leaving the windows down doesn't stop extreme temperatures inside vehicles. Pets should be left at home with shade, shelter, and fresh water. When at home ensure you put your Christmas chocolate or nuts safely out of reach from your dog. Small dogs are at a greater risk, but all breeds can suffer violent reactions including restlessness hyperactivity, trembling, vomiting, diarrhea, increased heart rate and seizures. Everyone deserves to have a safe and happy Christmas this year make sure that includes your pets. Nobody wants to spend Christmas Day at the emergency vet clinic. Mr. Ferner said pet owners should also be mindful of any fireworks events planned for their area or New Year's or other celebrations. Nobody wants their pets to be distressed, so it is important to help them feel safe, secure and avoid situations, that could cause them to panic and run away he said. The RSPCA says a range of everyday human foods can have adverse consequences if ingested by dogs. Dogs should not be fed chocolate, onions or garlic, tomato, grapes, including sultanas and raisins, avocado. The RSPCA also recommends not feeding fat trimmings from meats to dogs as this can cause pancreatitis. For detailed information on what you need to know before you get a new pet visit the RSPCA Knowledge Base website at kb.rspca.org.au. To find out more about your duty of care for animals, go to business.qld.gov.au and search for duty of care for animals or call 13 25 23.